Hello everyone, welcome to DCC and IT Agartala. Myself Tejas and I am a second year electrical engineering undergrad. And today I will be discussing the problem fox and snake. So let's read the problem statement first. Fox seal starts to learn programming. The first task is drawing a fox. However, that turns out to be too hard for a beginner. So she decides to draw a snake instead. A snake is a pattern on an N by M table. Uh, denote the CH cell of the rth row as r comma c. The tail of the snake is located at 1 comma 1. Then its body extends to 1 comma m. Then goes down two rows to 3 comma m. And then goes left to 3 comma 1 and so on. Okay. Your task is to draw the snake for fox seal. The empty cells should be represented as dot characters. And the snake cells should be filled with the number signs or we will call it hash characters. Consider uh, just let's look at the sample case we have okay so so basically we have n will be given n and m n will be the number of uh, rows and m will be the number of columns suppose we have n equals to 8 and m equals to 5 Okay, let me write this 5 again so suppose m equals to 5 then our output should be something like let's not write it here okay suppose we have i'll write it here suppose we have n equals to 8 number of rows we have 8 and m i'm having 5 so our, our output should be Okay, so now let us follow zero indexing and we'll be you know indexing the rows so this is my zero eighth row this is my first row second row third sorry third row then fourth row then fifth row sixth row seventh row okay so we can see that here basically we are using three uh, all the rows are filled with basically three types of characters the first type the first type being this that is all the m places are filled with the hash characters the second type being that is all the uh, only the last uh, that is the m minus one -th, m minus one -th place filled with the hash character and the third type being that is only the first place being filled by the hash character these are basically these are the three types of strings that we will be printing okay so first uh, we'll be constructing these strings okay and uh, sorry so we'll have string s1 we'll initialize it with uh, initialize it as a empty string and s2 and then s3 <coughs> now we'll let's construct these strings first the length of these strings will be m okay because m is the number of columns here so for s time each uh, for s1 each time will be adding a hash character for s2 for s2 if i is equal equals to m minus 1 that is if i is at the last index then s2 then we'll be adding a, a hash character to s2 else in all other cases we'll be adding a dot character Uh, in case of s3 if i is 0 then we'll be uh, adding a hash character in all other cases we'll be adding a sorry we'll be adding a dot character now uh, how will we decide which string to print at which 
place so first of all i'll be running a loop from 0 to n minus 1 n is the number of rows okay so if you look at this for string number 1 string number 1 is printed at 0th index the, two in, uh, the index 2 4 and 6 so if i is even we will be printing the first string <coughs> as that is as one else now uh, let me first remove these strings or remove these lines now if you look at the first and fifth uh, sorry if uh, if you look at the first and the fifth row you can see that the string number two is printed string of the second type is printed so what is common between one and five so <coughs> if i divide one by five in integer division this will give me zero if i divide five by two then in integer division it will give me two now zero and two both are even numbers okay so we can write this condition that if i by 2 that is our row number by 2 is an even number then we will be printing the string of type 2 okay s2 and else we'll, we would be printing string of type 3 s3 okay i think uh, we are good to go uh, this is a basic pattern problem okay this is a good problem for beginners I think we are good to go. Let's submit this. Yep, it got accepted. This is the code. You can look at it once again. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys.